National Parks Traveler. Postcards from the Parks. This is Kurt Rappencheck in downtown Washington, D.C. between Pennsylvania Avenue and 15th Street with Kim O'Connell. We're here at the new World War I Memorial, which just opened earlier this year. And we're taking a look around at this beautiful site. The next time you're in Washington, D.C., there are so many memorials and monuments that the Park Service oversees, you could fill a whole week touring them. One of the newest ones is the World War I Memorial that is located between Pennsylvania and 15th Street, and we're right across from the Willard Hotel. I'm here today with Kim O'Connell, our Eastern correspondent. She lives in Arlington, Virginia, and is quite familiar with DC and all its monuments. And Kim, how new is this memorial? It just opened in April of this year, and it was long awaited. It's been in the works for about a decade, so it was really kind of triumphant for the organizers when it finally opened in April. Okay, and you said it previously was known as Pershing Park. Pershing Park, it had been here for about three decades or so. It was a really actively used park with a statue of General Pershing in the corner. Um, which you it, can still see. Which you can still see. The statue is still here, but the park itself had kind of fallen into a state of disrepair. And when the organizers of the World War I Memorial realized that there was no memorial to World War I, we have World War II, we have Vietnam, we have Korea, Korea. We have all the other major American wars represented in this capital city. They thought, what better place in this park where there's a statue of General Pershing already? Yeah. So it went through a whole process, historic preservation review, design review, many, many, many years of um, discussion and consultants to get to where we are today, which is where we're standing here. So, And yeah. the, the focal point of this is? Well, the focal point is going to be a beautiful sculpture called A Soldier's Journey which actually takes viewers through a tableau of a soldier leaving home, going off to fight in World War I, kind of facing down death and, and injury, and then returning home and kind of passing on his helmet to the next generation, which of course many called the greatest generation, which fought in World War II and all the wars after that. Right, and right now that um, that design is really just a drawing right now while they work on the actual sculpture. Right, the sculpture is still being worked on. It's going to be installed here in 2024. Right, and they've got quite a few water features here. What's that all about? Well, first of all, we're in a very busy part of downtown. We're right next to, very close to the White House and across from the Washington Monument. So it's a very busy area. We're surrounded by office buildings and restaurants and cars, there's a lot of street noise. So the idea among the designers was to keep an element of water here. There had been water here when it was Pershing Park because it's cooling, it's relaxing and calming, but it also screens out some of the street noise. So when you're down in this memorial, you can really think about the space that you're in and not be too distracted by the outside noises. And they did keep some of the elements of the original Pershing Park. Right. There's kind of these steps that ring the park here that were designed by a landscape architect named Paul Friedberg. And so in, in kind of in honor of Friedberg's original design, they've kept those steps and they're designed to be walked up and down. You can sit on them. You can bring your lunch out and enjoy your lunch while you're contemplating the memorial. So it's quite nice. Yeah. And they also have some maps of uh, the Western Front. Right. Yeah, very, very interesting history in American uh, military history. Right, and I think it's a war that people know less about. We hear a lot about World War II and Vietnam and all the more recent wars, but this is kind of the war that started it all in the 20th century, so I'm glad that this memorial has opened. Yeah, it's very nice, and right now it hasn't really been discovered, so you can really find yourself with some solitude and, and some perspective of World War I and, and give just some thoughts to uh, the battle that was supposed to be the last, last one, the war that was supposed to be the last one. For The Traveler, this is Kurt Rappencheck and Kim O'Connell in downtown Washington, D.C. National Parks Traveler is a 501c3 nonprofit media organization providing daily editorial coverage of national parks and protected areas. Traveler's coverage is made possible by reader and listener donations. Visit us at nationalparkstraveler.org.